Hi, and welcome. My name is Tolan, and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to cover the Windows key and how to directly launch applications, files, and folders using the Windows key and Windows Start menu. Before doing this, let's look at a couple of other methods that you might be able to use in order to find and launch applications. One traditional method that a lot of people use in order to open up applications is their mouse. You might do so by clicking the Start button and then launching your Windows Start menu. Next, you would go to the file or folder of the application that you wanted to open, and lastly, you'd launch that application. If you're using a operating system like Windows 8 here shown in my screen, you would then manually open up the Windows Start menu, scroll through the apps, find, select, and launch the application of your choice. Another possible method to use is that of having the application pinned or active in your taskbar. You can then manually click the application icon with your mouse and launch that application in no time. Lastly, you might be able to have the Windows File Explorer, formerly called My Computer. You'd open up File Explorer, you'd go to the program files and manually select the application folder. Thus, within the application folder, you would open up the exe file. Thus, within a few clicks, you'd have your application up and running. This being said, I personally prefer to use the Windows key as a shortcut to bring up the Windows Start menu. Thus, when you're in the Windows Start menu, you can begin to immediately search for files, folders, and applications and launch those within seconds of bringing up your Start menu. Let's look at an example. First, you tap the Windows key. This launches the Windows Start menu. Once you have the Windows Start menu open, you can then immediately start typing the name of the application that you wish to launch. Before you finish typing the name of that application, your Windows operating system will begin to guess what program, what file, what folder you're looking for. If and when you see the correct application name appear in the set of choices to your right, then use your keyboard arrows to scroll down to the name of that application, thus selecting that application. Once you've selected the application within your Windows Start menu, press the Enter key on your keyboard and this will launch a new window of that application. Let's say that you wanted to launch Internet Explorer. The process would look something like this. Notice how when we launch Internet Explorer, it was not already running on our machine. However, now let's take a moment to briefly look at the other instance, say for a situation where we use the Windows Start menu to select a program or an application that is already active on our desktop. If the application that you've selected is an active program, i.e. it is a program that you already have open and running on your computer, then once you make your selection within the Start menu search results, hitting the Enter key will bring up the most recent window of that application that you've selected. Say, for example, that you were to search for Microsoft Word. Selecting Microsoft Word from your Start menu will bring up the most recent window, i.e. the most recent document that you used within Microsoft Word. If the application, however, that you selected was not running, let's say, for example, Microsoft Excel, then once you choose Excel within your Windows Start menu, this will bring up a new window. From that new window, you would have the choice of opening up an existing document or opening up and creating a new Excel file. So just like you can use this search query function in your Start menu to launch applications, this trick can also be used to find and open files and folders. Say, for example, that you had a Word document labeled Marketing Plan. Pressing the Windows key and beginning to type the phrase Marketing Plan will bring up a set of documents, applications, files, and folders that the Windows operating system thinks most closely matches your search term. You could then use your arrow keys or even your mouse to select Marketing Plan document from that set of choices on your right and hit Enter. Once you hit enter, it will open up your marketing plan and you could then begin making edits as you so wish. All right, so whether you're using the Windows key and the direct search functionality to find files, to launch applications, or to look for folders, I find that this keyboard shortcut is really, really useful in my own workflow. 
both personally and professionally. In our next video, we'll look at the keyboard shortcuts of Windows F, a trick designed to limit your search within the Windows operating system specifically to that of files and folders. Thus, by using Windows F, you'd be able to narrow the scope of the universe of search results and potentially find files and folders much more efficiently. As always, thanks for watching and we look forward to hearing from you. Cheers.